Hey guys, I'm lazy. I play RuneScape daily, and I just enjoy sharing what I do. So here's a little of what I did yesterday. Been mining all day while I was traveling to and from Ottawa to visit my father. Happy Father's Day. So let's see what we can get out of this. I'm working on the full prospector. So far I've got just the legs. I did unlock upstairs, which is wonderful. But that's 78 mining after getting 77 yesterday. I'm going to take a break here to go do some thieving. We're close to 80 and I desperately need brews. I've added this picture in just to show that yes, people do frequently die in my area. And that's why there's often sirens in the background. This is filmed just outside of my apartment building. Alrighty, nice marble gargoyle. Great surprise. Hopefully we can get something good out of this. I didn't bring a spec weapon, but uh, it shouldn't be an issue. And we got nothing. Bunch of Slayer XP. Completely worthwhile. Coming up on a very important milestone here, something that's really going to push my mining. So that way I can complete the master clue scroll that I've had for a while. Is this right here as we're coming up on the level? In three, two, one. 80 thieving. That is a diary requirement. I don't remember which diary, but I know that you can plus five from there and do almost every diary except the desert. More importantly, it gives me 80 base except for this mining. And that's going to push me to do mining. I'm gonna chip away at 82 thieving, so that way we can go the blood shards, get two in one go, and then we'll have the blood fury for raids. So my friends here just got a Dragon Hunter crossbow. I am a champion YouTuber, so I managed to not hit record and do an entire shit raid. But we're going back for one more today. Hopefully we get to see something. Hopefully I finally get rigor. Really looking forward to it. That'll really help me push to do the Corrupted Gauntlet for the Blade of Sailor. And once I get that, that means that we can start Theater of Blood. So I'm sure everybody else wants me to get rigor too. Not to mention the fact that I'm paying an extra 20 mil above and beyond for it. Come here, boy. You guys didn't bring a suffering switch for this? Suffering. Alrighty. And the drop is garbage, I'm sure. Let's see. I, I don't even want that. I don't even want it. Before I can return to Sire, I need to make some money to buy some death and soul runes. So, some good old Algility. Not really sure why I brought my beaver with me. I think it's a remnant from raids, but I'll be back after I've converted all this to GP. Got all the Elking done. I was at 9 marks of grace, figured I'd go around and grab a tent. So, we're up 2.3 mil. Go buy some runes, start some sire, hopefully we get that bludgeon piece. Looking really forward to getting back to normal slayer instead of camping this boss. I had an interesting YouTube video that I wanted to watch, and I was right beside the gauntlet. Figured I can do this casually, maybe get the blade of sail door. It's never gonna happen, but at least it gets me some money. It's something fun to do. I'm approaching 150 kill count. Um, toward the end there, I was trying to do that kill foodless, and like I said, it's casual, so the time's not going to be anything amazing. Another kill done. Like I said, don't really worry about the time. Approaching 150 still. And we got... Oh, cool. Right back in.
I don't know if I could have been less accurate for that kill, but just burn through food. Could not stop hitting zeros. Anyway, kill count 150. This kill was substantially longer because I decided to do something dumb and see if I could kick the Dark Beast to death. Never try this, it took a minute and a half to do 100 damage. Chest is... trash. And another basic hun lift down. That's gonna be it for the hun lift. And as I was just discussing with a friend of mine here, I'm gonna go try the thralls at Sarah. It's not undead. I don't really know anything about it. It just sounds like a fun idea. Let's see what we managed to get here. Uh, I'm not even gonna count the Addy or the Meth Arrows, so let's just get dropped. 306k. It's something. So this is my setup for Sarah. Gonna try thralls for the first time ever. The skeleton does uh, range attacks and it ignores accuracy. So let's give this a shot. Stand that up and let's go do some. Hey, more supplies on kill count 600. That is 600 with two Sarah swords, two Sarah lights, and one armadillo crossbow. Unfortunately, no Sardaman hilt, which is what we're chasing down.
Come on, throw. You got this. Coins, unfortunately. Maybe we can get a god sword chart or something to wrap this up. Uh, no, unfortunately not. We'll lift the coins and we'll call it a trip there. I really have to pee. And I think that's where I'm going to end my night. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Definitely recommend balls, thralls at Sardamon God Wars.